hey guys good morning good morning from where you are it's a very bright morning as you can see yes and it's a very beautiful day thank you so much for clicking on this video ah today's the day today's the day guys it's the day that the lord has made we will rejoice and be glad in it so this is the D-Day. This is the D-Day for my traditional wedding. And it's the morning uh, of the day. Everyone is busy. I haven't, I've barely slept. I have barely slept. I slept at around one. I slept on the coach because guys are so many around the house. So I wasn't able to get enough rest or a good, a good well, a good sleep. I wasn't able to get that but haithuru haithuru i'll sleep after all this is over so yeah uh, basically today i just want to show you what will happen i might miss some parts because i'll be all over the place but i'll try as much as possible to capture as much as i can when i can but yes, uh, basically preparations are going on now. So we are just preparing breakfast for our in-laws so that when they come, they can have breakfast as they wait for the lunch because the main meal is the lunch. But for now, guys are preparing breakfast and I want to show you around. So let's go. So this is where we'll be serving our our meals so these are the meal tables then more preparations here so this is the deco that i'm supposed to be finishing on it's still on i hope it will turn out the way i wanted zil zil ah the mini gardener <laughs> So this is the breakfast that we are preparing. So basically we are doing a Swahili breakfast. What will put a Yeah! <laughs> 
So after the decos, I was supposed to stay indoors and not come out until I was told so. So these are my cousins just keeping me company and my brothers. Yeah, just having a chit chat as I wait for the rest of the guys. And here they are. They are here. They are here. They are here. They are here. Hello to you. How are you? This is Aurelia's best friend. Ah, it's a pleasure. She's my aunt. My auntie, my other aunt. Yeah. 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 Yes, the lady behind the scenes. So guys, I am just doing my makeup. If you haven't got here already, uh, the very main processes have already happened. And now I think the the like the old men now are ready to get in the house just to do the negotiations. I'm almost done with my makeup. Doing makeup in Mombasa is so hard because it literally melts on you. It's like go okay. here. I really tried to work on this part, but it's still melting. I don't even understand what's up. At some point, I just feel like doing away with all this. It's so stressful, man. I've been here for the last one and a half hours. It's just annoying, but... So after so many hours, I just decided to leave it the way it was. Whether I sweat, whether I don't, I was so tired by this time. So I was still inside, but I really wanted to capture what was going on outside. So I had to give my phone to someone just to capture everything that was going outside.
evidence, evidence, evidence. My mom was so excited and it was such a good feeling to get from her and it was about time for me to go in so everyone was like i want a photo with you i want a photo with you so yep the bride of the day had to take as many photos as she could so at this time i was both excited nervous afraid and had all sorts of feelings at this moment because this was that moment. It was that specific moment that was about to happen. So I had two outfits. So this was the first one just to go in and do all the procedures that we're supposed to do. Then after that uh, part was done, I was supposed to change now into my main outfit, which you will love. You will love you guys. So according to our culture, the groom is supposed to slaughter a goat and then the liver or the insides of those goats are supposed to be cooked and we should feed our parents the pieces of liver that are cooked and then also feed ourselves. So just to symbolize uh, that we care for the family and we want to share this good news with them. And yes, just to ask for their blessings and all the traditions that come with them so also apart from the eat from the feeding of the liver we also uh, feed our parents with sodas both our parents uh, my side and my husband's side just to symbolize the eating together and to share the meal together people were so happy people were so happy for us and I love that fact about this whole uh, process. So after sharing the meal, it was time for speeches. So well wishes 
uh, best wishes, blessings were spoken on this uh, speech time. And I love that about this whole process. So the next thing after this was blessings from our parents, which was such an emotional uh, part of this whole process. And now it was time for our parents' blessings. So both our parents had to bless us. So we started with my parents. And this was extremely emotional for both my parents and for me. All of us cried. All of us cried. You could not control the tears. Definitely they were tears of joy. Thinking of this whole thing is a blessing. And we could not hold it down. So after all the procedures in the house, it was now time to eat. Food was served and it was looking absolutely scrumptious. They prepared the food really well. And now, of course, it was time for people to know each other, to mingle around and just um, have fun. So as people served and ate, I was back inside the house just to change my outfit to now wear the main outfit. And here was my cousin making my hair. She really came through. Of course, I was melting. My makeup was melting so much. It's, it was extremely hot. It was extremely hot. So please do not come for me that my makeup was bad. It was the heat. I tried my best. I tried my best to do my own makeup. But the heat just spoiled everything.
and within no time i was ready to go out now and uh, just cut the cake so the process after this was just cutting the cake and taking lots of photos though it was so late it was already dark so we couldn't take as many photos did i tell you my mom was so happy you can see that you can see that so we shared a cake together and i was or we were all entertained with the lovely becky mudoni thank you so much becky for entertaining us and that was it that was that was it for the day guys that was it for the d-day that was it for the big day it was such a simple and beautiful um traditional wedding i loved it i loved it so much so look out for the photos so guys the day is over i am one happy person and i looked good i looked absolutely amazing i thank god for the day so it's been such a busy day i think i'll actually end this video tomorrow when I'm all freshened up because I plan on doing a better photo shoot with this dress because um, the day went by so fast I wasn't able to take photos as much as I wanted the backdrop that I put this one wasn't even used because all the balloons were blown away the setup was spoiled so I wasn't able to take good photos on it but I'll find a better place to take photos with my dress because it's such a beautiful dress. And uh, I think I'll end the video tomorrow. Yeah, but today has been such a beautiful, blessed day. I'm just so happy. I am like the most, I am the happiest person in the world right now. Yeah, and I thank God. I thank God above everything else. He has made everything beautiful at his own time. We'll see you tomorrow. The next day. So this is the next day. We headed to Sultan Palace and took lots and lots of pictures. And my, my, my makeup on this day was looking bomb. Unlike the previous day. But this is how my dress looked. It was so pretty. I felt so cute in this dress. I was so happy about how it was made and look at how beautiful sultan palace is so after the photo shoots we ate lunch and proceeded on to other things
so Sultan Palace has several pools and a playing area. Sana, sana, sana. Oh, Maji. Then it was evening and we spent the night there at Sultan Palace. We had so much fun. We played all these games. We swam at night and had the time of our lives. Thanks to Bonfire Adventures, it was such an amazing event. So thank you so much guys for watching our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment down below your best wishes for me and share these videos uh, with other people who might love it and do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't please do and let us grow together and we have so many other videos for you guys to watch so don't forget to watch all our videos from our channel and we appreciate you guys so much we'll see you on the next one bye